Well, good morning, folks. Here I am. Day number seven. Out at Birch Grove Campground in the Schwamigan Forest in northern Wisconsin. I got up a little late this morning. It's, a, it's already 8.30. I didn't shake it out this morning till 7.30 an hour ago. And... Boy, last night, it got cold. It got chilly. I had to pull out the big guns. I pulled out my 30-degree bag, my thick, heavy, big sleeping bag. I had to pull that thing out at about 2 o'clock this morning. It was so bitter cold. My little lightweight. Little lightweight sleeping bag just wasn't doing it. I have a kid riding by on a bike right now. But I think it's going to turn out to be a nice day. It was overcast all night. It was overcast so far the first hour of the morning. And it's starting to break up. Starting to get some blue sky. So Maybe the forecast is right. It's going to be a nice rain-free day in the mid to upper 70s. Style will be out on that Styak day. I'll be paddling. Looking forward to it. I had myself a really light breakfast. And I'll take some snacks probably with me out on the kayak, but otherwise, my big dinner last night, I'm still feeling a little stuffed. And of course, the best part of waking up, Spolgers in my cup. <laughs> Other than the kids next door, it's pretty quiet around camp today, so far. Um, campers will start coming in tomorrow. I'll be heading out the day after tomorrow, Saturday. But so far this week, it's been an awesome camping trip, even with all the storms and the rain. We had our rain days, we had our hot days, we had our cold days, we, had, yeah, a little mix of it all, a little mix of it all. Um, it was funny because when I go to bed at night, I break down everything in the screen house and everything gets put away in cases and bags and boxes and so no critters can get to it. <coughs> go in there this morning and the table, the two tables, there's a little TV tray and a long table. Both tables just covered in field mouse droppings all over. Field mice were in there looking for something to eat. Sorry guys, it was all packed up and put in the tailgate of the trunk or in the camper. That's why I don't leave any food stuff out in the greenhouse overnight. You don't know what critters will get in it. So those field mice, they were kind of cheated out of their midnight snack because I didn't leave them nothing. I don't like seeing mouse droppings all over everything in there. Because I had to wash the table and wash the TV tray before I set my stuff back out this morning. And to get it all scrubbed down because it had mice running on it. Now I did see one field mouse yesterday who went tooling across camp. And I thought, you sneaky little bugger. Well, one thing I do know, they cannot get into the adventure trailer. Now, I've had the adventure trailer 
since, um, oh Lord, it goes back. 2018, I got that. Two years ago. Yeah, it'd be two years ago, a month ago. Well, that trailer has been parked where there's field mice and house mice all over the place. And never a sign of a mouse inside that trailer. Never a sign. It is tight enough sealed all the way around. Everything's sealed up good and tight. It don't get mice. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. The, um, the only thing that I ever worry about with those stinking mice is that they'll get up into the wiring of my truck and start chewing on wires because they're known to do that. Um, so I fire my truck up two, three times a day just in case you get one that thinks he's going to build a nest in there or something that scares them off, you know. Um, get everything running and hot and shut her down and the mice stay away from it. But there you go. The vicious wildlife that Stye has to deal with out of camp. But this is the morning of day seven. I had six nights. Last night was a, other than getting so doggone cold and I had to get up and break out that big sleeping bag, last night was a good night. Slept really good. Slept really good. I sleep more out at camp in a night than I ever sleep at home at home a really good night is six hours a typical night four four hours maybe nope out here it's between six between six and eight hours every night i sleep out here I have no problem sleeping in the great outdoors. So, anyway, sun's coming out, hitting me just hard now. Ooh, it feels good. Because it's the air's still pretty cool. It's going to warm up, though. It's definitely going to, you can tell, it's going to warm up. The temp's been coming up by the minute. So, it'll be a nice day to be out on the kayak. So, till later, guys. Hey, you all have a nice day day and style catch in the next one hey if you are new here and you haven't subscribed please subscribe ring the bell so you get the notifications hey hit that like button for me would you and wait till the very end and you can click right to a playlist that has all the camp videos on it hey thanks for tagging along everybody it's been fun as always, and we'll see you later in the day. Until then, bye-bye.